Hi, have the recent Fed rate changes thrown a wrench in updating your cardholder agreement? Well, if you're like a lot of banks, the answer is yes. <laughs> My name is Brent Plow. I'm the Director of Global Business Development here at Nehas, and I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about how we can use our tools to tokenize these agreements and make them a little bit easier to be able to update and manage given all of these changes. So let's take a look. So if we look at your typical cardholder agreement, um, you're probably managing this in a couple of different tools. One would be your digital asset management, where you're storing all of your templates. And then the other is your typical spreadsheets with the pricing matrix, along with pointing to the appropriate disclosure language with the appropriate products. Well, we're not a big fan of spreadsheets. So what we prefer to do is take your document and be able to break it apart into what we call tokens. So for example, let's look at the interest rate in of itself. Your interest rate, you probably have some kind of formula that's looking at your Fed rate plus some kind of delta, uh, and that's equal to your percentage rate. You might have an intro rate, which we'll call delta one. You might have an, the annual percentage rate, which is delta two characterized by this. Well, in our tool, you can set up this formula so that one change to the Fed rate here will update both percentage rates. And because we've tokenized where these go, these can be automatically inserted back into the document in the appropriate place. But we don't stop there because we know that formatting is probably one of the most critical components. And so what we also do within our tool is we drive your format rules. So your Schumer box can make sure that your intro APR is at the same font size as your annual APR, your annual fees are clearly identified, and make sure that they're at the, again, the appropriate font size. Then lastly, you have different product types. So in this case, it might be a cash back card. And if it's a cash back card, therefore it must have the right disclosure language that is appropriate for that type of product. And we can drive that here. Again, we are going to tokenize these components, our AI recognize it as what type of product, and we insert the appropriate disclosure that matches that product. And so within our tool, these changes can be made pretty quickly, whether it be your Fed rate change, a format change, or you're updating your disclosure language. All of this can be done in one central place and be updated across all of your documents and all of your templates simultaneously. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at nehas.com. Until next time, hope you have a great day.